guys, we're back with a full season franchise. This is another franchise I'm doing that was the game. This is our recap. We got one good upgrade last from last game. We got um what's his face? Um McCaffrey got hurt, was out for six weeks or four weeks, and we upgraded Amon Ross St. Brown's height, his speed, and a bunch of his stats. We got the wheel here. Let's play a game. So, I think that works. I'm trying to negotiate. Oh, that's for the end of season problem. Week three of the NFL, and we two one and one teams here, each looking to move over 500, and we're underway here in week three. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line, and he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. Commanding the offense will be Lamar Jackson, the electric quarterback out of the University of Louisville. And I thought in last week's game, he found a way to win like a good pitcher without his best stuff. I mean, he did throw two interceptions, yeah. offset by one touchdown pass. Not the ratio, not the numbers you're really looking for as a QB. But finding a way to win, that's all that really matters. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And here are the key inactives for them in this one. And obviously, Charles, are going to be without some important names this week. Well, hopefully those guys will be on the sidelines encouraging the guys who are going out there and helping them when they come off the sidelines during the game by giving them some tips on what they see and what they've experienced. That's true teamwork. And if you want to get to the playoffs, if you want to have a big push, you have to have that on your squad. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. Play action. It's Jackson. And down he goes. A bucket air sack. Felix and DK Uzama in there to drop him, and that will go in the books as the first sack of his young NFL career. Congratulations, young man. So still a scoreless game in the first, but they're going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. Uh, how about this starting field position? First and goal from two yards out. Yellow, one, quick, yellow. Mostert. Touchdown. Right the Bellini, one. So good job there, Charles. Taking advantage of the short field, and they score first, punching it in on the short touchdown run. I love the theme there, right? They didn't have to do anything big on that drive. Took advantage of where they were on the field, took it downfield, put the ball in the end zone. The only thing big on that drive, the six on the scoreboard. Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. And that one gives the Bucs a 7 to nothing lead. With a nice tidy little drive there. Getting the ball in excellent field position. And only one play to score it. And 
And we see James, he will now return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really Mara, need to Mara. respond here. Oh they certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now it's Jackson escaping the pressure right. Catch it. Oh, my. Well, this is taken in. Mad. It's complete. Mad. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 36 yards on the play. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Jackson's throw complete there to St. Brown. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. The Eagles hit one and one through two games thus far. It's not a start that's going to set the world on fire, but they've been pretty solid nonetheless. And the first thing that crosses my mind. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. They get to him for the last of four. And he breaks up third down on the sand. To throw is Jackson. Where quarterback coach on the sidelines gonna talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the football. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They'll start at the 40, so great starting field position following the interception. Now a quick throw there, but it's gonna be incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout, Devontae Adams, his intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. You look at this Eagle defense against the pass. Just numbers that they haven't liked. Number 30 in the league right now. They'll take that play right there each and every snap because throughout this season, they've given up some good points. To be able to hold someone to no game, oh yeah, they'll take that with all game long. Well, as a coach, you actually love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. To pass, here's Jordan Love. That pass completed to Dorch. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Love. And he will find his man on the outside. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Now a second and two. At the 17-yard line. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. Caught on the right side by Adams. And the Bucs are going to be... ...to go here as the tackle made at the nine. To the air again, Love. Incomplete. And down here, first and goal... If it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. Go. Check right. Black they go bootleg. Love. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Jordan. Touchdown! Brevin Jordan. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Buccaneers have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And we see James, he will now return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. 
And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. Now Jackson. He'll let this go deep for St. Brown. And this is caught. A big play there for Phil. D9 yards. And now some disagreement down on that sideline. The red flag is out, and we're going to get a challenge. Is this a touchdown? That's the question, that, CD. Yeah, that's a touchdown. What are they looking for that's here? A touchdown. You just need any part of the football to break the plane. That's you don't need the whole football. It doesn't need to go over the entire white line. It's just that front part of the white line. And if you draw an imaginary plane going straight up, that's what they need to cross. So not successful there on the challenge. And he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Here's Jackson to throw. Forced out to his left. He'll swing that out to Edmonds. Touchdown, Eagles! Chase Edmonds. His second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. And it's no good. He missed it wide to the left. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT. that where it went out of bounds so really good starting field position up past the 40 yard line well not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines and that is a penalty every time and gonna give this offense better field position and it's every kickoff guy's nightmare isn't it because you don't see yourself doing this and most of the time you don't it's absolutely a miss hit, and now your team pays the price. Bad field position for your defense. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Play fake. Here's Love. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. Was that a receiver? <laughs> yeah, actually it was. It was a running back who was a receiver. Ike, has been spending time in the receiver drills getting his feet down. Well, those guys out of the backfield, they got to be good, agile with their feet. He showed the agility there with a the toe tag. No doubt about it. It's like he won the ballet score. Jump forward. Next call. Got one. Do they score? They don't. Second down, Stop. here's Mostert again. Ten. And he's down. stopped immediately there. Let's go! No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Love. And he's got it! Caught in the end zone, touchdown, Tampa Bay! Brevin's... Two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Buccaneers look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Okay, they 
they just don't score when they're going to overtime. Ready, ready, set. Love looking to throw it. Connecting with Johnson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Bucs going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Ready? Now Love. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. The Bucs going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this fourth quarter. Here's Love. He throws it on the move, but can't connect as that falls incomplete. And just over 30 seconds remain. Here's second and 10 now. Love. They'll get this into the hands of Moster. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 16. And Carter, the top game in the fourth quarter. You're not in the NFL. Oh. That's when you lean on your stuff. Okay, and you can't throw with a nice catch right there. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. We can't be totally sure that that was by design, but we do know that a lot of kickers like the ball in the right hash in order to kick the field goal. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. We think back to halftime, you know, they were close to being written off. They faced the deficit, and now here's we begin overtime. They're one drive away from a comeback oh. victory. Think about where they started and how far they've come back from. And look, you and I both know that when we talk with coaches, most of the time they don't say that momentum is something that factors into how they coach a ball game. Because they say each game is its own entity. But within a game, I think they all believe in momentum. And they certainly have it going in their direction right now. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that'll bring up second down. Jackson options out left. They'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. Well, he didn't get a first down. He did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle Open. prevented Open. it from maybe going all the way. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Well, I know you're toward the middle of the field here, but still, fourth down this distance. You got caught it right. That's definitely the first instinct because you say, okay, let's just play some field position, make sure we don't lose the game here, turn it over in a key spot. But if you feel really good about your trigger guy, if you feel great about him, you might want to leave the ball in his hands and let him work his magic. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Bucs are going to take over with excellent field position to boot. First throw in overtime for Love. Going right side here, and that's complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all oh, said and done. On first and ten, Love. And incomplete a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Love looking to throw it. Got his man. It's Deutsch. Third and four. Here's Love. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out of 
Evans about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. And that carry probably not so much for yardage just to get the spot that you want to kick the field goal. And any yardage a game there is really kind of gravy, and this just becomes a buff. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. So it's a win for the Bucks here, and it was all thanks to the play of their veteran quarterback. Basically every game we do get to spin the wheel, so let's spin the wheel. Okay, let's spin the wheel. Max out 10 stacks. Okay. So let's end the video on this. So we're going to pick Manage Team. Adjust lineup. Monra's clearly now won. Monra is now a 99 overall receiver. We just need to get the X Factor and he's maxed. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe. Peace.